Okay, we are in an RV and we have uh, two Romexes coming in here. They're 14. One is green jacketed and this is blue jacketed and I've never seen that before. And we have our grounds twisted together and they did something wrong here. They put the black and white together and the black and white, the two whites should always go together. So we're going to take this off here and uh, find out which one is the uh, power. We have our no contact tester here. So the one with the green jacket is the one that's live. And then of course we have our uh, neon bulb tester. You can see that shows that's live. And we have our uh, digital multimeter. We can turn this on. And it doesn't matter which side you touch. And it shows this uh, green wire is the uh, live wire. Okay, and we'll just verify that it's off. That tester, this tester, so now we will uh, hook up our GFI, so we will uh, get our ground wires here and we'll straighten these up here. back here further. I'll bring this wire nut down here a little bit lower. There, now we have a nice tight connection there for our ground wire. We have a nice brand new Eaton GFI. And if you look at the back, you'll see where it says line and where it says load. So the two from the this green jacketed wire is going to be the uh, line and the two from this blue one is going to be the load. So first we can tighten this box into the wall a little bit more tighter. There it is. Okay, we can uh, straighten our ends out here. Okay, we'll strip this one just a little longer here. You can strip this one a little longer here. And we can strip this one a little longer here. Now 
This is a little bent here. See how it's bent there a little bit? We'll straighten that up. Okay, so first we will take our ground wire. I'll cut this uh, loop off because we're not going to be using that anymore. Our ground, we're going to straighten it some more here. Make sure the copper goes up through the pressure plate all the way there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll look at our back. This is line. So we'll put our white wire from the line over here. I'm going to make sure it's long enough to get under the pressure plate. So that could be a little longer because see how that's kind of short. So I'll get the black to the same length there. Okay, so we'll put our white line in the silver side where it says white. And I'll hold it up there and make sure it's long enough. So there's our white line. Okay, and over here we'll put our black live line over here. I'll make sure it's long enough, and it is. And I'll straighten that again here. So I'll push it in so it goes up to the bottom of the pressure plate there. Make sure it's tight. Now over here, see where it says load on the back? We're going to hook our black and white load up next. So we'll strip this a little longer here. Straighten the wires. Going to be slightly long. Okay, so I'll hold the black load up here. Make sure it's in, in long enough. So it see it goes right up under the pressure plate. See how it gets up under the pressure plate. So I'm going to put the black load in here. Okay, now we'll turn it around and we'll put our white load over here where it says, I'll hold it up to this here to our, so you make sure it goes under the pressure plate all the way, and it does, so I'll put it in. So I'll just go over with a flathead screwdriver to make sure everything is tight. One, two. Now, since this is a shallow box and this is an RV, the uh, camper comes with this little extension here that goes in it. And see the uh, two screws in here to screw the device into the box? We'll take these two screws out of here. We'll put it in uh, this 
way. everything here. So this goes over top of the GFI like this. Like a box extension for wire mold. So that will go in here like this. Now we're going to eliminate these screws here, the regular household screws. As you can see, these screws are much longer. So this goes here. And then just shape this ground wire so it doesn't touch the live terminals here. So I'm going to bring it over here. We'll put this through here. And we'll bring it up to the box like that. position that ground wire so it doesn't pinch between this and the uh, And we'll put our new cover on. So that is how to rewire and replace a VFI in our RV.